Alright, and we're back with another Red Dead Redemption 2 epilogue walkthrough part 65. So, we are in Beatrice Hope. Uh, let's just jump straight into the next mission. Here we go. Ah, uh, feels like old times. <laughs> it's good to have the old gang back together again. Let's just hope things don't turn out like last time. Here he goes. What'd I tell you, Charles? Boy, is as sour as weak old milk. No wonder she didn't stay with you. Not even a retired $2 whore would stay with you. That's the goddamn truth. Now, you used to be decent company, but now you're worse than a snake with a toothache. All he does is whine, whine, whine. Excuse me. Oh, don't get all angry. It ain't gonna change nothing. You're hopeless. And I mean that literally. You got no hope. I mean, look at you. Look at this place. Your dream home. I've had better nightmares than this dream. Oh, darling Abigail. I've changed. Come live with me in an outhouse. I wouldn't ask my worst enemy to take a shit in. What are you trying to say? It's awful. It's a dump. The house has got to go. Get some self-respect, you miserable sack of shit. Build a house so the lady'd set foot in. The place just needs a woman's touch. It needs leveling. No woman would touch this place. Now, I reckon these horses can have it down in a minute. Here. Come on, tie that end around the horses. You loop that end around there. Horses will pull it clean down. <laughs> we good? I think so. All right. Well, <laughs> let's get going. Now, just pull. Oh, hold on. Uh, I I guess we're tearing the house down. Okay. Uh, okay. Lean back and just pull. Yeah. Nothing else to it. Come on. There we go. Nice. <laughs> See? I told you it wouldn't be no trouble. And now? Now we head into town, buy ourselves a house right out of a book. Same as if it were a bicycle. Where in town? Uh, there's a fella by the train store. Cakes hardwood and timber. Okay. You keep working here. But if I don't go with you, who's gonna Just tell you that? Just need a bit of peace and quiet from your incessant yapping. Charles, make him work. Whip him if you have to. Wow. Is that... Yep, yeah, that's it. Okay, mission complete. All right. <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess we can squeeze in another mission. Um, let's see. What do we have? City. All right, in Blackwater. All right, uh, give me two seconds and I'll be right back once we're there. Yeah. Honest day's labor. No problem. All right, two seconds. Okay, we are just around the corner here from Sadie. So let's see where she is. Ah. In the saloon, of course. How does you? I honestly thought that Blackwater would be a bit bigger, but yeah, it's pretty much like Valentine. Nothing special. Where is she? Upstairs? Ah, there we go. What's up, Sadie? Hello, Sadie. Oh, John. <laughs> Come sit down. Sure. You, uh... Got any work? Yeah. Well, there's always work. Whole country's getting robbed, robbing or stopping robbers. Well, seems like there ain't much else in this world except bastards, victims of bastards, and the bastards who want to put the bastards in the ground. And which are you, exactly? Me? In my time, all three. But same as most people. I guess. Well, funny thing about this job, well, opportunity... I just might get to be all three again. How you mean? <clears throat> you ever heard of uh, Shane Finley? Cattle wrestler? Murder, thief, child killer. He's wanted in five states. I caught him last week. He was disguised as a lady in a house for fallen women. <laughs> I was bringing him in, and I got robbed by a professional rival of mine. James Langton. Oh, he's a nasty bastard. I didn't much like him even before he robbed me. That happened a lot. 
This line of work? Yeah, but they're all people like me. Anyway, now they're holed up in the desert down south waiting to head north so they can hand them in to the state troopers in the north country. I'd given up on the job as just a bad lot, but now that you're here, maybe we can go rob them back. Is the money good? Yeah, it's real good. Plus, I don't much like getting robbed by no one. Come on. Where is it? We're heading again, you say? Mm. So, All right. Now come on. Sounds like we're about to have an action-packed mission. That's awesome. Okay, I really like Sadie's horse. I mean, the color is awesome. Look at that. All right. Let's ride. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Let's go. So, in the previous video, we did, uh, well, get a loan from the bank in Blackwater and um, buy Beecher's Hope. So, I know it doesn't look like it does in Red Dead Redemption 1, <laughs> but hopefully, we will build a house and it will look the same. So, um, yeah, let's just focus on this first and hopefully we'll buy that house. But, uh, yeah, we did meet Charles in St. Denis as well. He was fighting, uh, well, in, let's just say, underground fighting pits. Or backyard fighting. I don't know. But, yeah, he was throwing fights and, yeah, uh, Uncle did see him when he was out. I don't know, but yeah, check that out, I'll leave a link down in the description if you guys are interested, or perhaps from the beginning, I don't know. And make sure to leave a like, and subscribe of course, if you're new to this channel. So we just finished uh, the Legacy of the First Blade, Assassin's Creed, and soon enough I will start the Fate of Atlantis DLC trilogy as well. But for now, let's just focus on Red Dead Redemption and finishing this epilogue. This is epilogue... Well, episode 2. Or part 2. I mean, the epilogue is two chapters, so this is chapter 2. Yeah. We finished the last one... Well, in the previous video, like I said. So, yeah. But, yeah, let's help out Sadie. Okay, so Dutch has been quiet. Hmm, nothing from him. Look, what happened with the gang changed everyone who was a part of it. The Dutch who put a blanket around me after the O'Driscolls, that weren't the same man at Beaver Hollow. And now, no, Sadie, that was not the same man. Dutch really did change over the years. Wow. I see a man who got found out for who he truly was. We were fools to follow him. I was a fool and I paid for it. And I was one of the lucky ones. Maka, John. Maka's the one who set it off. I blame me for following Dutch for too long, but I blame Micah for most everything else. He's out there. And someday, I hope we'll find him. But not now. Come on. I just love this view. Look at that sunset. Wow. got this outlaw you captured in a women's boarding house? Shane Finley. Shane Slankton. So yeah, okay. Shane Finley is the bounty and James Langton is the guy that robbed Sadie, okay? Though the giving back part is optimistic. I'm forever the optimist. 
You know, I've been doing some bounty hunting of my own since I last saw you. I ain't gonna make a habit of it. We cut off here. All right, this way. Awesome. This is the place. It's a view, all right. Okay, let's see here. Whoa. Come on, let's go take a look down in the valley. Look down in the valley, absolutely. Equip it. Do I have the binoculars on me? Let me... Yeah, I think so, yeah. Items? Yeah, there we go. Let's see. Anything? Not yet. Keep looking between here and that town. They'll be there. Somewhere. I think I see something. Ah, there they are. There they are. Down there. Who's who? Well, the bounty is the fella who's all tied up. <laughs> Very funny. And that big fat fella with the funny hat? That's James Langton. The other fellas just worked for him. All right. Where do you think they're heading? Come on, let's go follow them. Okay, let's follow Sadie and see what happens. Okay. Looks like they're cutting through the canyon underneath us. Stealing another person's bounty—that's just what the hell. <laughs> okay. I mean, she did get robbed of the bounty at first, but still. Kind of like a vul vulture, you know. Making somebody do the entire job and then whoop, swoop in and get it yourself. There they are. We follow and keep an eye on them. Are we supposed to ambush these guys or what? This is the valley. How do we get down there though? But yeah, I'm really glad that, you know, the epilogue did change pace after a while. I mean, it was starting to get a bit boring with the ranching life, even though it was interesting. I'm not gonna lie, it was interesting. But I'm really happy that, you know, we get to reunite with some of the fellow... Well, with the friends from the past, you know, Sadie, Uncle, Charles... I hope some of the other characters as well are still alive. You know, Pearson, that's the chef. Or. Was her name Tilda? I don't know. Yeah, but they're. Hmm, I guess we'll find out. Perhaps the mi pastor. Haven't seen him for quite some time, though. Ah, oh, there they are. What are they waiting for? The rest of Langton's men, I think. Okay, so what's the plan here? How come he's got all them men, and you work alone? I got you. You're worth ten of them. Well, that's true. That's true. Fair point, Sadie. Start shooting at him or sneak down and pick him off one by one. I reckon sneaking down is our best opportunity. But, uh, it's your call. Yeah, I feel like shooting the gang, shoot the gang, or threat sneak the sneak would be a great option. But I don't really have any sneaking uh, weapons. You know, a bow and arrow would be awesome here, but let's just start shooting. Is there a? Oh, I don't have a sniper. God damn it. Yeah, maybe this was a p poor choice. From this distance, this could be a trouble. Yeah, this could be troublesome. Oh no. Uh, don't have any red eye, dead eye as well. Here we go. Come on. There we go. That's one at least. On 
Yeah, aiming from this distance with a rifle is not the best. Wow. Even a sniper rifle would be better here, and I'm not the best shot with a sniper rifle as well, so... <laughs> uh, I think we'll need to get closer. Hopefully this will work at least. There we go. Yeah, uh, we'll need to go around. Whoa! Okay, hold on. There we go. Nice. See, there's no problem from this distance, but... With a rifle. Rifle is quite powerful when you're close and personal, but... Otherwise, nah. Really? Alright, there we go. Yeah, I don't think I have any more for my dead eye, so we'll have to... Oh, come on! Really? Oh my god. Yeah, let's just get closer. Yeah, this was a stupid idea. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I... Health cure, that's it, stamina experience, that's not really... I need to go and buy stuff. I can see that now. What the hell. There we go. That's one. Stay still, come on. Thank you. Nice, there we go. Okay. What, what the hell is shooting at me, man? Really? Come on. Right. Let's move. Okay, so far so good. But yeah, I highly recommend that you stop by and buy a sniper rifle or something, you know, before you do this mission, since... <laughs> well, you can see my struggle here. Um... I'm not the best shot from a distance. Wow, hold on. Yeah, this is starting to get dangerous. There we go, is that it? Yeah. Maybe not. Let's get down there and see. Oh my god. Oh, come on. Uh, remedy. There we go. Reinforcements. Really? Okay, that has to, surely has to be it. There's the bounty. Let me just loot James Langton. Maybe he has something valuable, at least. Miracle tunic. Tonic. Awesome. Um, Alright, let's go. Are you with her? What's it look like? Okay, you're taking Finley. Let's go. Get him on your horse. Come on, lady. Down the canyon. Let's ride. Easy. Uh oh, no, come on. Okay. Oh, let's ignore these and just oh my hat. Come on. Yeah, I feel like this could be troublesome without my dead eye. That's one at least. Two. 
you know, like I said, aiming while close this close distance is pretty easy, but from afar it could be troublesome. Really, bro? There we go. Oh, poor performance from on my side. My bad. Okay. There'll be a book in this cell. I'm serious. Yep, and so am I. Hit him, John, please. Hey, you don't need to do that just because she told you to. I don't need to be hit. I just want to be treated civil. Shut it. He wants to be treated civil. Isn't he this guy a murderer? And you know one of the worst kinds of murderers. Kidnap me, then let Langton kidnap me, then you killed them all and kidnapped me back. I'm the victim here. Damn you. You are no Don't victim, so sir. Just shut him up. Don't listen to her. Just now, shut it. Let me speak my piece. There's no call to hit me, mister. Listen to him squirm. Jesus. Bad dog. Hit him again. There we go. <laughs> How did it work ain't easy, John? No. But I can see now it has its rewards. That's a whole lot easier with a partner. That back there, you didn't need a partner. You needed a whole company behind you. We did fine. And with Langton and his men gone, there'll be more demand hmm. for our service. Oh, Sadie, you know I'm a rancher now. Mostly. And I know how you're paying for Yeah, I always Those do find these around. conversation be hey, conversations between the characters we really interesting. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe. Especially when, you know, they're bonding. Alright, where is that? Ah, we're here. Perfect. Grab him and bring him in, John. Sure. You're a bitch and a bastard. We brought in Shane Finley. Oh, great. Let's uh, put him in the cell. Damn you! Saving that one for later. Ah, bastard! One with the door open. Good lord. Ah! Oh! At your uh, cell at the end. Uh, We're gonna watch you swing. What for? I didn't do anything. Nothing. Yeah, right. yeah. I thought you said you lost him. Well, I did, but we got him back. Oh, and James Langton's dead. We killed him. Why'd you do a thing like that? It was him that robbed me. Okay. Here. Here's a decent price on Finley. Mm-hmm. I know. <laughs> uh. You want this money to go to the bank, too? No, I'll, uh, I'll take it myself. <laughs> okay, Jim Milton. It's John Marston here. All right, well... If you need any more work, you can find me in town. Or maybe I'll find you. I'm retired. Sure. <laughs> Be well, John. Alright, that's it for this episode, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys soon. Take care. Bye.